Hello, welcome to PC Jack. Now, you may think, in order to build a PC, the only tool you actually need is just a screwdriver. And while yes, you can build a PC with literally only a screwdriver, there are a couple of other tools that you can use that will drastically improve your PC building experience. So today, I'm gonna to run through my top five PC building tools that make my life easier when I'm building or maintaining a system, which in turn, may help you with making your next PC building experience go that much smoother. So, these are in no particular order, but my first pick is going to be a magnetic screw tray. Once you start your build, you'll notice how many different screws you can actually accumulate in the process. And it's very easy to lose or misplace screws if they aren't kept in one safe place. However, having a magnetic screw tray will allow you to keep all your screws safe in one place and organize them while you're working on your system. So you don't have to worry about your screws rolling off the desk and disappearing into the ether. So definitely really useful considering how so definitely really useful considering how many screws you will use during the PC building process. Moving on to my next PC building tool, we have a chopstick. Yes, I'm including a chopstick as one of my favorite PC building tools, but the reason why is because if you need to remove your graphics card, you have to press the latch, and if you have a rather large CPU air cooler, it can make it difficult to actually reach that latch and release your GPU. So a solution for this is using something long to press the latch in order to release your graphics card. But it's not a good idea to use something like a screwdriver because one wrong step and you could accidentally slip up and stab your motherboard's PCB and potentially break off components. So instead, using a chopstick does the job perfectly as it's rigid enough to hold the latch down and it's also not strong enough to actually damage your motherboard. And you can also use it to eat noodles. Great stuff. Moving on to our next PC building tool. There are multiple items in this next one, but they all help with achieving the same purpose, which is cable management. So I would always advise having zip ties of various sizes along with Velcro ties in order to help manage your cables. While yes, you can build a PC and not do any cable management whatsoever, if you want to have a cleaner system and make it much easier for yourself when you need to swap parts in and out and remove cables, it can definitely go a long way with helping to make your life easier. Using both zip ties and velcro straps will allow you to bundle up and route cables in a specific way in order to help with maintaining your system later down the line. I've also got these little cable cutters which are extremely useful for trimming the ends off your zip ties or removing zip ties entirely. Again, cable management isn't mandatory but it will make your life a whole lot easier and your PC will thank you. Another really important thing to have when PC building is something to remove thermal paste. Whether you're replacing the stock cooler on your CPU or repasting your graphics card, you will need to use something like isopropyl alcohol in order to remove the thermal paste. But you can also pick up this kit called ArctiClean, which includes a thermal material remover and a surface purifier. All you need to do is apply the first part to the area you want to clean, allow it to sit for 30 seconds, and then wipe away all the thermal paste. And then you can use the second part, which is the purifier, which you can apply to the area and it will give a nice and clean look, ready for a fresh application of thermal paste. For what it is, it's a bit more expensive than just getting isopropyl alcohol, but it does a really good job and I've used it for a very long time now and I can highly recommend it. Another tool that I highly recommend is a makeup brush. Yes, I'm recommending the makeup brush, but the reason being is that these bristles are nice and soft and are really useful for dusting out your system. Now, using something like this, you may have concerns of ESD buildup over time, but I've used this on several systems and haven't had any problems whatsoever. You can also use it in tandem with a hoover, which by itself would have some concern with stack buildup, but you can place the hoover to the side to where you're dusting, and the brush will pick up any loose dust and it will then be caught in the hoover. Really useful all in all, but what if you need something a bit more heavy duty for cleaning your PC? A perfect solution over a can of compressed air is a data vac. A data vac is awesome for blowing out all the dust in your system, and while yes, it's going to be more expensive than a can of compressed air, over time you will actually end up saving money by not having to buy cans over and over again. I got this X-Power one for about £50, and I can highly recommend it if you want to give your system a nice bit of TLC. So, that's it. Those are my top 5 tools for helping to make my PC building experience go much smoother. What are your go-to tools for building and maintaining your system? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos on the way soon. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.